Oh, hello, beautiful people of the internet. We're back with more Firewatch. Uh, yesterday we streamed for, you know, we played for three, three and a half hours. Uh, I played very slow, super slowly. Like maybe, you know what? No, 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 no. Branding's important. Branding's very important. Uh, <clears throat> I was very thorough. That's all it was. I was very, th welcome to the final part of Firewatch for sure, because we're definitely finishing it today. Uh, welcome to a very thorough, <laughs> uh, thorough playthrough. Here's the deal. If you don't know what's going on, vaguely, my name is Henry. Uh, I am an alcoholic, potentially. I am sort of grieving my not yet past wife named Julia, who has early onset Alzheimer's um, and moved back home with her family to Australia after I was not taking very good care of her. I've arrived here for a summer job, for a job job, to watch for fires on the horizon. I have a good friend named Delilah over in one of the other lookout towers, who I think might not be my friend. Uh, and that is a little bit nerve-wracking. Today, this is day three. Uh, today, our goal is to find boards to patch the window. That's the first thing that we're up to. Uh, my window got vandalized yesterday. Hey, I found a board. Get a couple more boards. All right, cool. I can do that. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. Back. Tony says I have that same Snapple in my fridge. Yes, uh, Meg got a variety pack, and I am... Uh, I'm quickly burning through them. All right, we're going to be focused today. Very focused. There's two. Not slow, it's just thorough. We need one more. And I don't see a another one. We can zoom there. Get over by the outhouse. Um, find out. I love Delilah. She's so cool. Is she, though? I think Delilah is lying to me. I don't know who I can trust. Either I'm paranoid or Delilah is... Uh... Oh, there it is. Or Delilah is uh, lying to me. Oh, there's an extra board right here, too. How are we three seconds in and I'm already exclamation tomating? Oh, Lord. I'm doing well, huh? Okay. Board up. Board up. On a Tuesday. Look at that. Driving those nails one hammer each. I kind of figured, Mars. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? <laughs> well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. And you don't want to uh, talk to me anymore? Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Let me go back in here real quick just to take a quick little look around. Uh, because we have not yet read this, I don't think. Yes. Uh, so we'll read that here in just a second. I was telling Megan last night after, uh, after she, or this morning, after uh, we both woke up, about the game a little bit and how much I was enjoying it. Um, yeah, I don't really have any <laughs> deeper thoughts to say there. Just uh, I'm super excited to f see what we figure out today. The like, main questions are on my mind. On my mind are what happened to the girls? What happened? Uh, what happened to the girls? What happened to when Delilah called someone else? Uh, I think today is going to be quote unquote normal. Although Delilah is having a hell of a time getting the communications wire fixed. Those girls did a real bang up job fucking us over. A few days before I left, I got a call from Jules's dad. Uh, realized I d hadn't really talked to him over the past few years as much as I thought. I think I was so worried about getting Madeline on the phone whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. Some interesting dynamics there. I guess that's the sort of thing writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Anyway, Mick just wanted to see how I was doing, wanted to have me out. 
and I appreciated it because it he's got that ain't no worries bloke attitude, but it doesn't feel right. I bet Madeline's been hard on him. God damn. Here's something else I realized. Jules liked my parents. She liked them both. But that didn't stop her from laying into me with, you're acting like your father. And I realize now that I love the parts of her she got from Mick and the parts of her that she got from Madeline scared the living shit out of me. Except for the whole looks department. No de denying she lucked out there. All right, we're going to need to go to like six hours of therapy to unpack all of that shit. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Interesting. His wife got a, like, some some realizing maybe that the the relationship was not all he had thought it up to be, potentially. Potentially. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> my socks, by the way. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, Julie take a seat. Mom the forest has got on it going on. Oh, six days later. Okay. Time is passing. Hello, Alex. How's it going? Oh. We're in Thunder Canyon. Afternoon. Uh, I might never leave. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Fire? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Oh, no. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. Oh, I'm getting a sick feeling in my stomach. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, you should say something. I'm so lawful good, it's not even funny. Or at least lawful neutral. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. You don't want to talk to Me the cops, neither. Delilah? Why is that? All right, Henry, Why is that? Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Okay. Six days later. Oh, we're moving quickly now. Shit. Hi, Elgo. Good morning. Henry. Henry, wake up. Very nervous. It's dark. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What's going on, Delilah? What's happening? Can I read this? I can. Man, Delilah. Okay, interesting. We're going to read this real quick before we go. I touched their bra and saw them naked. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, this doesn't look good for Henry, right? Does not look good for Henry. Man, Delilah, I took a hike this afternoon and she hits me on the horn and without a hello or anything says, what do you call noodles that aren't real or something? Wait, no, it was, what do you call fake noodles? And then yells, impastas and hangs up or whatever you do with the walkie talkie. I can't let D know I thought that was actually really funny, but I did. So I'll just write that here. I was thinking, I probably lucked out getting her in the supervisor's tower. Because what the hell would I have done had it been some crunchy guy or someone who spent all their time up there munching on LSD? Being stuck to a wackadoo would be a whole lot worse than being out here on my own. I think I picked up that word from her. Wackadoo. It does sound like something she'd say. Flapjack and wackadoo. I sure as shit wouldn't have said that two weeks ago. But she's kind of got that effect. Okay, what's going on? What do you want? Julia? This is a dream. What the fuck? It You're sounds like Delilah. Dumb idiot. Oh, baby. You sound tired. No, that's Julia. Oh, shit. I am. Are you having a nice time? I'm having a dream. 
Are you okay? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. No! <clears throat> okay, Don't. Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Ah, bad stomach feelings. My stomach hurts. I have little indigestion. Day 33. I love this, how quickly they're passing time after how slowly it passed at the start. Hike north Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Interesting. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Wheelbarrows full of marijuana. Here's what I want to know: Is the fence still here? That's the other question. So, on. like two weeks oh. ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay. You know, when it comes to her. Mm, yeah, I'm doing okay. I don't know. Am I? I am. Good. Let's say I am in the hopes that we might be, you know? Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Is this supposed to make oh, me jealous? incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. Oh, he was a driller, all right. For almost five years. Driller, I barely know her. <clears throat> I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Mm -hmm. <sighs> then, um... Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And Is this all a lie? For some reason. Is it a joke? I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So. Wow. I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. Killer Cat says, ask where that we wheelbarrow full up. of marijuana is. <sighs> okay. Delilah with some, uh, avoiding the real consequences of that relationship. Imagine being five years into a relationship with somebody who things are obviously overall going well. <sighs> And then being like, not willing to go home for the, f interesting. I don't know. It just gives me like, Delilah being a, uh... how do I phrase this? Immature? At least, like, emotionally the long drop there. Well, I hopped down a drop. And now oh, that was forever ago. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I could pickle. just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Mm, I know. Hey there, Delilah. I know. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. It's crazy. Every single 
every single time I, uh, Delilah says something like that, I do this crazy whiplash between being like, is that a threat? And I'm being paranoid. No, that's not a threat. Delilah's just making conversation slash maybe that's a true, honest feeling, you know? Like, it would suck, you know? That'd be super unfortunate. Ooh, buddy, I am feeling paranoid. All right, supply drop should be here. We made it here once already yesterday during our big set of exploring. If you don't need the wheelbarrow of weed. Food for two forks. Bruce, it'd be a shame to pick up anything else, right? I kind of wonder what happens if I do, though. All right. I got everything I need out of here. I'm not going to. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Lawful good, quote unquote. Let's take their food. I didn't. <gasps> Fuck. Front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah. Distant smoke. I'm really going. I'm gonna call it in. That ain't distant. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but. I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. Ooh, let's watch it. But why don't you do the honors? Chat, is there a... Uh, did this say a certain day? Front seat question. Did this say what day it so, was? No ideas, huh? I like the flapjack fine. Did it say what day it was? Come on, there's got to be something creative in that. 64. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. The flapjack Fire. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do Thanks, is? Thanks, chat. I appreciate you. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Are you trying to You'd tempt like me there. here, Delilah? I feel like I... I would if I was with you. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah. What maybe. are you saying there, Delilah? Are you looking at the fire? Yep. Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. It is really beautiful, honestly. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you're here. We are having one of those nights. Why Ooh, do you say why that? Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And okay. I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to... Second time. At the end of the summer. That's been mentioned. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. Can I call I HR? Uh, can we get HR on the phone? Uh, we got a we got a, a real problem here. My direct supervisor and the only I person I talk to. We could sit outside. Who I'm we kind of attracted to. Got these radios. Kind of sketched could, out by. You know. You know what? Go silent. Well, we could just watch this fire. It's kind he of is really HR. Time. Seventy six. I do love that the minute it's like literal like Ted Bundy shit. You're going fishing like, without a license? 
It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Okay, uh, sorry, hold up. Um, bear tracks by the lake. Problem bear? Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's calling me Henry again rather than Hank. I, uh... It's interesting that she takes the moment where there is a fire. It is beautiful, but it's interesting that she takes that moment to talk to me about, to, like, romance me, you know? Very interesting. Okay. So we're supposed to search the lakeside for bear tracks. We're headed down. We're facing the correct way, I believe. Yeah. We're going down to where the kids were. I hope we don't find the body. Uh, Mar says, uh, if you look at the tower instead of at the fire in that moment, she says, you looking at the fire? Question mark. And you say, no, I'm looking at you. And it's one of my favorite possible moments in the game. That's very intriguing. Yeah, that's lovely. Does she say anything in response? Uh, front seat question. All right, we're looking for bear tracks. Why did Del Delilah wake us up? Uh, Delilah did not wake us up, actually. More fucking fireworks, by the way. We actually had a dream, Julia. It was actually a dream about our dead, our, our dying wife, our wife with Alzheimer's. Um, okay. Confiscate for sure. Chat front seat question: Yes or no? Did we find out why that fire started, the flapjack fire? Okay, thank you. Just a reminder: Generally, I would prefer not to know any information about the game until until we get to the end of it, and then I think we'll have a chance to talk about stuff. Um, and I'll ask front seat if I, uh, if otherwise. Um, okay, we're looking for bear tracks. Can I pull out my fishing pole again? I'd like to. God, I'm so intrigued by the mystery of this, too. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. No, there's not a name or a credential. What the fuck? It's a list of what I've done. What? The, uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms. Well, PD you? station. I mean, okay, fun, okay, okay. Also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? This game is a horror oh, game. God. What the fuck? I don't know why I just called you that. Uh, we should keep it, and I should respond with the with the thing. No, okay. Can I look at it again? It's gotta be a way, right? Ah, shit. Uh, chat, is there a way to see my the notepad? 
again. It said what PD station at the top, which is important. I don't think so. Fuck. I thought I was missing a, uh, a dialogue option with my radio. So I, I put it away. It said something about two times per week. Three times per week. It also said Nexus, um, which I don't know what that means in this context. Uh, well, PD station was at the top. It did have quotes. It had an interesting thing about would you kill Paul McCartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix? I said absolutely, which is hilarious. Um, that duck is definitely a fake duck. It may end up in the tower, yeah. I think we got the general gist of it, but... Noise is towards the canyon. Okay. What do you think? It's a bear. Nope. There is a walkie-talkie. Am I going to get hit in the back of the head? The problem is that I think, honestly... Delilah might be in concert with this person, not opposed with them. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. I told you! Oh, shit. Are you there? I bet that radio's gone. What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? One transcripts second. of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? What the fuck is going on? I, I, it's the I, part I, that's I chained know. off. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Wapiti, by the Does way. Wapiti Station mean anything wop, to you? Wap, wap, wap. Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's yep. not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. Or is it the part? Yeah, it's the, the part with the fence. Lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Excellent. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you Are you Sorry, sure this dialogue's you saw taking forever. What, what you saw, Henry? Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. I think I can just pause. Hey Meg, do you want to come show the people what you're uh, what you're doing? Hi Mina, how's it going? Very normal stream over here, by the way. You're going to try and sneak up on me? Uh -huh. I like your helmet. You look like a rider of the Rohirrim. Yeah, it's got grease all over it, yeah. so careful with your hands. <laughs> yeah, you should probably go clean those oh off. God. When you, when you get, yeah. <laughs> That's from Sven. Isn't it crazy? You're going to try and scare me with that right after I got hit in the head in the game? Yeah. All right, I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> Sorry, I looked over and saw Megan lurking like this in the corner of, uh, in the doorway of the room. Eyes peeking out from underneath, uh, that, uh, that <laughs> helmet. Okay, um. Oh, Lord. Did you say you closed the clipboard on accident? I clipped the video if you want it. I did close it on accident. Um, if you want to post the clip, that would be helpful, Cable. I might take a look at that. Um, okay. Why would I make this up? There are people just, listening. Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. Are you, are you sure you were actually attacked? Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from 
three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'm also getting lost vibes from this. The other thing I'm thinking is, uh, what's going on behind that fence? What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Hey, bad guy, I'm coming. There I'll be right there. To be a reasonable explanation. Also, grab your I'll gun. Call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know. Wapiti, yeah, by the understood. way. Yeah. Okay. Hike safe. Are they sure that's how that's pronounced? I would say it's probably Wapiti, right? Wapiti just sounds so silly. <laughs> Wapiti. Ooh, all right. Uh, fantastic. Great. Love it. I was like, somebody's behind this rock about to hit me in the fucking head. They were behind that rock about to hit me in the fucking head. Should we take a look at this, uh, at this, uh, note chat, the clip? Just so we can really, uh, really dissect what was on that clipboard. Get the falling. Unfortunately, I do think it's correct. Damn. Whoppity. What was that? Fourth Estate. That's a book I've already had. Okay. Make sweater. Okay. I don't think it goes that. It goes this way and then left. Nope. That is the... Yes, this is it. Okay. I really am kind of struggling with the idea that Henry says every thing, single thing to Delilah. And I don't... love what that means for our say it like does that mean I'm going to does that mean this other person knows everything and it kind of looks like I have a chance to uh not say some of it but if I don't say it to sh to Delilah then like who do I say it to Shelly Okay, so that looks chopped down. Hold up, first off. Okay, well, I like that. I like that idea. Check out this fence. I'd be scared to go down that knowing someone is following me. Yeah. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both Big. directions. Acres. Just climb it. Wait, it's a chain link fence. Out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. There's cairns Sometimes here. Biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but mm -hmm. that's only a few square feet usually. Mm -hmm. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Well, I think I'm going to use a stone on this thing if I had to guess. Looks like goddamn Area 51. <laughs> Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay. <laughs> um, I've, I've given it <laughs> a bubble, 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 bubble. Try. Uh, No dice. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. What was that about hey, getting it down? Actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should be right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Just fist bump it a couple more times? Yeah. 
Ruby River? Oh, that's this whole thing. Okay. I really thought we were going to be open, able to open it with a stone. Can I try it again? They give me another stone. Oh, okay. That's a buck. That really feels like it should work. All right. To Ruby River it is. Did not work. I guess I'm going to go borrow like a hatchet from them or something. Team Brick, by the way. Brick or bottle? I love how we keep going around to the different areas. Uh... Uh, I love how we keep going around to the different areas that we went to on the first day, attempting to uh, <laughs> explore. Look at this Ruby River area. Yeah, Mars, I tried it twice. You got to try it twice. Maybe it wouldn't work the first time, you know? Okay, so from here, we want to go back. Up Widowmaker is one way. We can also go towards the cave. I don't really think it freaking matters. How we go? Let's go up the canyon. I'm really nervous about seeing a, a bear eventually. Music? It feels like at this point that this game has to have a bear in it. No comments? Exclamation Tama, but like, if this game does not have a bear encounter at one point, I will be very surprised. around things seem normal with everyone else how about with you has anything strange been happening on your end no nothing really nothing really or nothing nothing my door was open the other night but that's not strange that doesn't sound like nothing it's nothing i promise all right I'm who do you know with anyway. opposable thumbs okay Keep your radio close to you. Hey, wh what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do it was red. think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Hailing me? following me around, like, working with other people. Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I, I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. I don't I don't know that even keel is the is the I think I'm not being paranoid. Oh my god, you can knock the sign off. That's funny. Damn, that that's going to work eventually. What's that noise? I'm fucking completely sketched out. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I have a terrible feeling, I don't like Delilah. Feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know. Ned... Ned was a weird guy. 
No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Ryan is fine. I hope so. You're getting your boss in air ago. quotes He's on the phone. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, We're going to find right. Brian's dead right. body. Now that we've said Brian's definitely doing well, he's a high schooler. We're going to find Brian's dead fucking body. Uh, also, I'm starting to question Henry. Henry the alcoholic. Maybe Henry is, like, experiencing major lapses of memory or judgment. Maybe, especially after we had the, uh, the one memory. Sorry, the one nightmare dream. Sorry. Uh, where we thought we were doing one thing. But that obviously could not have been happening. I think it's very possible that maybe some of these are not exactly happening, you know? Or we're... Maybe Henry's grasp on reality is real, uh... Real rough. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Okay. They're not going to put the fire out. Which makes, I would say, makes sense. Like, burning a line is a totally normal response to wildfires, from my understanding. We need to go to the ruby thing, but I want to first... I don't think I woke up here today. And so I want to see if there is a note on the uh, desk. And then I'll go right back out. I promise. He's losing his grip on reality. Exactly. He's losing his grip on reality. Is he even a real firewatch? Did I just walk all the way past my door? Yes, I did. Shelly! Gotta go say hi to Shelly, too. Sounds good, Mars. There was a, a meteor shower last night, and man, if you've never been a hundred miles from a streetlight, if you've never been a hundred miles from a streetlight during one, you're really missing out. I eat outside with my feet on the railing. I sat outside <laughs> and watched them zoom overhead until three in the morning. Even with the fire still burning, they were the brightest shooting stars I've ever seen. D hung in till past midnight. We had a good time watching them together. I've been thinking a lot about life after working out here. Working out here. One thing is for sure. I want to come back next year. Would be great if D was back in Thoroughfare and I got to do two forks again. D was saying that the Forest Service likes to keep people in the same lookouts. You get better at the job that way, I guess. So maybe I'll leave my typewriter out here over the winter. So I don't have to hike out with it on my back. After this season, I was thinking I'd see if there was more NFS work, National Forest Service work out there. Or call up Dixon at Cotton Mountain. See about working at the slopes. Would be nice to get back into skiing. Honestly, after a couple months of being outside, I'm not sure I'm ready to be stuck indoors. We'll see. I love that that lore is there. Hi, Shelly. I'm going to choose today to adopt you. It won't let me adopt you. There it is. Okay, sweet. <laughs> you got to readopt. Okay. Happy adoption day, Shelly. Let's go over there. Losing his grip on reality. So what do we know? Let's try and let's try and piece this together again. From here we want to go south. Someone has been taking notes on. Delilah and I's conversation on a Wapiti Station clipboard. That same person probably is the one who would hit me in the head because I had found maybe their uh, music. Getting scared. I'd found their clipboard, question mark. We also know Delilah was talking to someone else during a time when she was not supposed to have any conversations with anyone else. The two teens are missing. I'm the last one who saw them. But somebody else is out here, obviously. 
if they're listening in, it stands to reason that maybe they were like somewhere in between uh, the two of us, like located between. Well, PD is kind of in between, which I think makes sense as a place to uh, Are these new books? Dick Sturgeon, Penis Barracuda. Teen Prawn. LOL, another book about uh, JFK's assassination. Wait, is this an alternate history where... Uh... <laughs> Old Scout Camp, sure. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The Scout Camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Looking at a pond on the way. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. That's a terrible pun. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. I'm also not in the mood for foreplay. Are you wound up because your plan is, be is becoming figured out, though, Delilah? Or are you wired up because you're also scared like I am? That's the book from Gone Home? What do you mean, Leaflet? Gone Home's a video game, right? Video game, short video game, right? Similar-ish to this one at all, or...? On the way. Should we go to the right? Vibing with the soundtrack? It's a good soundtrack. Just a real quick little jog. Just a quick little jog. Look at this fucking tree! Ah! Beautiful tree. All right, we'll turn around. Mars wrote a comment that made me feel bad, so I'm gonna turn around. Can't wait till you finish tonight at 10 p.m. You're right, you're right. Stumbled on that tree by mistake because I treated this game as a free roam game. Same speed, same. Interesting. What is that? That kind of looks like a snowmobile. It is a snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. Hood off. Crazy. Very old. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across I this mean, pond. I mean, maybe less old for that was not a fun 89. Hike back to Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's Made weird, a generator right? out of it? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Generator at Wapiti Station? Who would have a reason to be at Wapiti Station? Signpost uh, missing. There's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Pork Pond? <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good That's goddamn fair. name. That it sign is. would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Ryan Road, right up there. I get it. 
in a bedroom in a sex dungeon. So is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. You'll cross a small ravine and you shouldn't be able to miss it. Sounds good, Delilah. Now they know exactly where I'm coming from. Pork Pond. Also stripped? Also stripped. East. All right. Camp uh, Arapaiho, which I don't remember how to say. It's amazing how big this map is, honestly. Maybe not in terms of direct size, but in terms of like POIs and. Very cool. There's just something tucked around every corner. Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something <laughs> about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right <laughs> with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I do like that it says uh, broken bridge I can't cross here. It's interesting because this entire game has been in, most of this game has been in second person. You do this. You do this. Julia breaks your heart. You break Julia's heart. Bucket is a good dog chop that down and come back across, but I can't get across right now. All I need is a freaking, uh... I need an axe. Am I supposed to jump here? No way. Jump across that, maybe. You think if you never reported where you are, you could sneak up on them? I don't know. I think you might be able to. Long drop. I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, <laughs> stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. Totem pole. Such a vibe. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeblow or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Yeah, what is a clove hitch? Well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. <laughs> yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Oh, there's a note down there. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. <laughs> For the past 35 years, yeah. Is that blood echoes from Bloodborne? Wait, what the hell? Exclamation blood? Oh my god. Lawrence drops from the sky. The boss battle commences. Oh, bear trap. Nice. There are bear traps out here. In the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. That's messed up. Mitch Michaels again. I had forgotten about this.
maybe Mitch Michaels is the person. Eighty one. So would have been out here the whole time for what happened with Brian and Ned. <gasps> Ten to one. Let's go. Uh 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 Willie Uh Hammerhead. I don't know, chat. I'm running out of oh shit. I'm running out of uh fish jokes. Willie Walleye. Okay, we'll come back for that stuff. Let's go over here. First off, I will take uh, this. I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. Mm. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For it's called a Pulaski? And getting through that fence. Okay. It looks beautiful. Everything has such bright and beautiful colors here. I'm really wait. I just realized I never got to sh to, to to fish. Wait, I'm so upset. Wait a second. I never got to fish. Can I get my fishing rod out? Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? I don't know. Let me read it. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare wait. on behalf of Doctor Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? An insurance company is to answer to... I mean, uh, are very interesting. Us? Us. They're That's interesting. Us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this I have my is all just a on. big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did, fuck Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Rich? So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check it Ben you Simmons. Can. Keep an eye out for anyone following you. I'm trying to piece together any pieces of info from the names or anything. Grant Carson. Ben Simmons, Rich Slusarinka. Okay, so no names that we recognize there. All right, holy shit. Got a flagpole here. So that's just weird because it mentions block trail. Let's go. Let's put this shit to work. It mentions. It references us. Sorry, it references Wapiti in like an official way, which is very strange to me. Very strange to me. It did have a pick on the other end of the axe. Yeah, is that what makes it a Pulaski? <laughs> Chat, did I, before I go across here, front seat question, did I miss anything back there? Did I miss anything back there? I didn't actually go all the way through this, the camp, I don't think. Over to the entrance. Does anyone know? I'll go back if I did. Otherwise, I'll just continue. Don't think so? Okay. All good. Thanks, chat. We got to take in the sights. I did forget to take a picture. Take a really shitty picture. Nice. Cool. <laughs> What's your definition of something? Mostly I'm thinking about lore. That's pretty good. There was nothing that way. So I hate to be that, that guy, but should we go to the creek? Are you there? I, I had a thought. 
Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. <laughs> I don't like it. Thoroughfare Tower. Look at our leg hair. Two forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Sounded like a Hello, male voice. Sorry, sounded like a pan a dropped. What can I do you for? You know, sounded like somebody dropped like a cooking pan. Why are you so chipper? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this day we've been given. Maybe is she playing I am it chipper for right now. Maybe I didn't stay up person all night knowing that someone is listening. I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower. What? Is this our it's code? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, this is our code. Right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. I will. In two seconds, let me first read the daily update. What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell. I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight. I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake, found a clipboard and a walkie-talkie, and I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy. Someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might be some sort of study going on. Like maybe we were given these jobs not to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck. I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie talkies too. It wasn't me. I'm rambling here. He heard someone too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. What are our other options? How do we talk? The other question, let's hold up. First off, H in the chat to tell your wife you love her. E in the chat to tell Shelly that you love you love her. You're going in my pocket, Shelly. And uh, let's learn a code. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great, just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. Yes. It's the... Uh... No, you don't need to tell me. Just um, internalize it. It's it's a great tree, and there's an area called um. I was just there. That tree's name. In the tree looks like that. that. Maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh my God. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. Mm, okay. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize? Cottonwood. Again? Top row, we second literally left. just saw Head to the a tree. place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. I wonder where that could be. There is a, cra a cache over there that I haven't been to. So I think we're probably going to head there soon. Okay. I am sketched the fuck out. We got some peanut butter, by the way. What's it called? Belief? Little into belief in the chat, by the way. Arena, I had the same thought. Every single poster, every single uh, tower I've been to and some of the caches have had this poster in it. 
I love that that is our super secret code. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I would love it if uh, over time, as you discover books, they get put here. Like, you wake up the next day and there's... Oh my god, there's so much jam. Fuck your jam. Mount Rainier. Fuck your coffee. I like that the uh, wedding ring was off. We're going to put it back on, at least for a day, and just pretend like I totally forgot. That's what happened. I just forgot. That's all. Smiley face is gone. Put her hat on real quick. I know, right? It's almost like I should trust the game to take me there. Mars said every time you're like, I wonder if I should go over there. The game's like, hey, let's let's go over there. I should probably just trust the game to take me there. Those caches are super secure, obviously, with their uh, very hard to crack passcode. Yep. Each of them has a unique a unique uh, code. South is this way? Yep. <laughs> I think I can go around left, then right. I'm getting very intrigued by the mystery of this. I have so many questions. No answers. Very intrigued. The other thing we saw, right? Hold up. <laughs> This is just another path to get there. Remember on this, uh... Remember on this map, there was a, uh... Like a little diversion? Around the river? I kind of wonder if we should... Tr it was like right through one of these gaps. Something like that. I kind of wonder if I should try that. Where is it? Hmm. Probably not. I don't know where it is exactly anyways. Wish I caught the first stream of this game. Very interesting story at this point. Yeah. We'll put it out on YouTube eventually if... Uh, hopefully semi soon. Hopefully we finish the game today and then I can start putting it out as soon as I can make a thumbnail. I'll probably put these out as just longer videos rather than like a bunch of tiny episodes. So here's the question on my mind. Is Delilah going to be here? Because that's kind of the suggestion. Or at least somebody. Big old cottonwood tree, by the way. And or Delilah made it to the cache, stowed something in it that is going to be a note. That's that's probably my guess. Have updated with a big tree. That's my guess. Big old. Uh, there's probably a note. One singular ski. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, the bushes are making noises, and I'm fucking paranoid. Thumbnail of this video is going to be a picture of you in a helmet, for sure. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Burns. Uh, it must be around here somewhere. I think it's it further is. this way. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. It's 5678. I like how... To get between us, there's this uh, there's this crazy tram line, but somehow Delilah gets all the way down here, basically to me, but doesn't show up and say hello. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. What did you change it to again? I'm blanking. Seriously? It's nerve wracking out here. <sighs> it's five, six, seven, eight. Would you? Are you liking it so far? I'm loving nerves. it, Buchaka. Loving it. 
Oh, that is a gorgeous poster. Just one stray match. Protect the forest. Copy information. There's something from here that takes you up to Medicine Wheel? That's interesting. Goes full, uh, goes full circle? Through the burned area? What else we got here? A new radio. Also, I need a synonym for penis chat. Oh, we've already used Dick, Willie, uh, Johnson, uh, Ding Dong. Blaster? Excuse me, what? Who? Uh, we already used Wiener. Uh, Schlong is great. Sh oh, Lord. Okay, I should have never asked for... Blaster, first off. Uh, okay, so this one is by... Uh, this one is by... Um, Slong, schlong sawfish. <laughs> Fucking hate my life. Hey, there's a different walkie-talkie in here. God damn it, Henry. Oh, this is what you left me. <laughs> mm, yeah, and I was really hoping to keep it a secret. Take it and chuck the other one, then call me. See ya, my old friend. Oh, the music. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Is hopefully. the experiment. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Is the experiment. Corrupting the radio line. Corrupting it. And then giving you a clean radio line i'm losing my mind i'm going paranoid red thread red thread red thread uh finding a clean radio line that is actually still tapped in some way because delilah has been talking to other people and it's like oh well now what happens if you think you can communicate clearly what the fuck is going on people oh! are listening to us i don't know our radios are tapped are you fucking serious our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. One of those options was you're, on, you're in on this. None of it makes any sense. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you, are you, is any of this real? What? Are you serious? I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm just losing my mind. It's what? an option I'm entertaining. Julia, and maybe it's happening to me and, and I have I'm that imagining exact that thought. I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines and, and you, Delilah, you're not real henry henry think about her if what happened to her were happening to you you wouldn't even be able to realize it okay henry sweetie i am real and this is happening i'm as real as the sky is blue it's fucking Take red and then call me back it's very red right now i'm on your side are you though i should have taken the option to say i should have called her on her shit they call me sweetie i should have called her on her shit though Sweaty? Okay, I'm all right. I'm uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. Wait, where are we headed towards? Wait, where am I supposed to? Oh yeah, Wapiti Meadow. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We go to Medicine Wheel. Let's go left. Go back into that gate. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not um. What? Not great. What? What is it? <sighs> I filed a report that said that. Neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks That's back. That's not what I told you to do. I told you. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. Yes. I know. And I didn't. I, I, 
I just didn't he want loves to breaking hassled. bad news. She does. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Fuck you, Delilah. What's it like in Thoroughfare Tower? Buy the plain white underwear. We need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, we do. I... I still can't decide how to play this. I can't decide if I want to play this trusting Delilah or not. I think if I get another opportunity, I want to call Delilah on her shit. I want to say, what's going on here? Are you in on this? I'm so sus of Delilah, same. Why would she do that? Old man noises, by the way. All right, we go to a PD Meadow. We shouldn't find anything in between there, but every time I go to the lake, bad shit happens, so I don't know. Lake is just up here. Oh, I don't think she'd tell you if she were involved. Right, but it's sort of like uh, attempting to call her on her bluff might provide interesting dialogue that tells me one way or the other some piece of information. Whether or not she admits it, maybe she'll let us know something. I have to say, am I the only one who thought that? I'm as real as the sky is blue. Motherfucker, it's any color but blue right now. That's got to be on purpose, which is good writing. Very good writing. Got to be on purpose. Sure, the sky is blue, but it's blue like half the day. Half the time you're real. Shout out to my PTSD for this moment right here. And I think it's this way, and then, yeah. Her demeanor seemed to sh uh, quickly shift when you brought her motivations into question. Yeah. And it, but it. But it's always a little bit convincing, right? It's always a little bit like, is she concerned because I'm the one person she has? And if you are losing your one person, you know, the one person you can confide in is being like, are you even real? That could be sketchy. On the other hand, yeah, I agree. I imagine Henry to look like David Harbour. I mean, uh... There's that photo of with of me with Julia and um not un David Harbour alike, I would say. Okay, so we're gonna take it a little bit slow here just to make sure nothing looks sketchy. What if it's unlocked? Oh, the music. I'm getting scared. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Hi, Mr. Meads. Copy Vacation that. was great. Pulaski time. <clears throat> oh, fireman shit. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? Music. No, screw it. Okay, then. All right. No. No trespassing. <laughs> Wapiti, Wapiti. A B. B plot is the achievement that I just got. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I got stung by a B. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Is, Super important. Is that it? Yeah. Did it? Did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Uh, okay, I'm. I'm sorry. I just know he's going to report this thing. Yeah, you got to report everything. Listen, I'm the kind of person who is going to, every single time they give me a new dialogue option, I'm going to take it. 
Wapiti Station personnel, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, Ben Simmons, he's on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment. Is it the University of Eastern Colorado? Uh, is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area. Any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Same type of clipboard. My thought there is uh, mix between a government and a university uh, thing is happening. That would lead me to believe research is in the question. Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to Oh, hello. Okay. They've got these bars or these handhold things, which is interesting. I love how you said yesterday, wow, Henry really reports everything when in fact you are the fucking lunatic reporting everything. Uh, to be clear, the writers are the lunatics who gave me the option to report everything. Am I really the lunatic for taking said option? Let's talk some Stanley Parable. Here's my problem. My thought about the... God, this is so menacing. Ah! My thought about the uh, taking the snowmobiles to create your own generator does not make a lot of sense here. If this uh, nice, beautiful generator, university slash government funded items. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission It's locked, tower. by the way. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. You know, towers really like to be nestled down in valleys. This does raise the question of how exactly the, uh, how exactly the walkie talkie, uh, me getting a new one is working. Like, could this still be monitored? It looks like it could be a weather station though. At least for part of, part of it. Can I break the generator? Okay. Blood Moon is rising, by the way. Oh, the fucking music. That looks like ecology. Flashing red light. I know what that's from. I had one of those in my uh, lookout at the start of the... God, I'm so fucking nervous. The start of the game. I mean, there are all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here. This too. makes it's it less scary. It but maybe it's a it's a This seems less impen less uh less menacing. But it could be just a sort of fake or like a a ploy to like, oh yeah, we're studying the soil. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. How did they get it out here is a great question. Can I have my axe out? Excuse me, I'd like to get my axe out. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm freaking nervous. That's tipped over. Were they in a rush? Spilled coffee? Were they in a rush to leave? I'm in their main tent. Water skin? All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. They know I'm here? Are we sure of that? 
That seems to me like something I would learn from one of these other pieces of information. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. You said you were going to go there yesterday? Have I said that since the uh, new... Did I say that before the new thing, though? Like, I don't know that I said date and time I'm going there. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Fucking anyway, it's cool. A wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. This is how I'm getting Ooh. tailed. Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're going to take it, right? Yeah, of course. Now I get to use it. Oh my god, the hunted becomes the hunter. You better fucking believe I'm going to use this shit. Follow the beeping device? Sure, but I want to... In is this device? Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I want to read this stuff first. I can hear it. What's it after? I don't know. I'm going to go find out. I will go find out. Sturdy le leather belt looks heavy? Why is everything so menacing here? Fire equipment? Hi, D.L. Miller. How's it going? Okay. All right. It's fucking losing its mind for sure. For sure. Let me just quickly... There's multiple cots. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Camp stove, food, notebook with nothing on it. Anything more here? Conversion chart. Graphs. Nothing that makes a lot of sense here. Map here that confirms they're tracking my our people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. I am going to at the end of this look back at a doorway and see a person standing there, and I'm so ready to shit my pants. Build generator Wednesday and Sunday. Photo of the power lines. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. Sex male, social role MO, subject 402. Okay, so there's Let me a take log a here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. Sounds good, Lambrecht. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Uh... Avoidance behaviors, consult previous data, disproportionate food intake, unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. I know who that is. Maybe the missing girls? I don't think it is. Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. It's gotta be Talk these two or us. Figure out how to get the hell out of here. And then these have to be Ben, or, uh, uh, what are their names again? Uh, Ron and whatever. Can't tell what that is. Trevor reports, barometer. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Barometer? Pressure? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? This thing is so annoying. Maybe the beeping. It's just a diversion. Like the soil thing? I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was oh, NASA, what's... I'd be a hell of a lot happier. What's underneath the mess? There's earthquake a monitor? box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. Seismograph. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Lie detector? This is a seismograph, right? 
What's underneath the mask? I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Is it my? Is it the red? The fuck? A black box? Like from an airplane? Subjects. Henry M. Delilah A. Somebody's right behind me right now. Ten weeks. Reliable, observant, charismatic. I am guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments. Maybe aware of the tests. Two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Susceptible to like manipulation. What? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is. What? What does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. Multiple they are. Uh, How do they lovers? even know who he is? How the hell does this? I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. E. G. Is the uh, supervisor. Think about it. That's insane. Worst case scenario. Delilah. What? Think Burn about it. Burn it down? That's fucking I insane. Am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes <laughs> up the mountain? Or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah. Maybe. Oh my god, Delilah. No. No way. Susceptibility to manipulation. How am maybe I being it's manipulated? Not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. What are the odds you think I make it back to the lookout? I'd say real low. Holy shit. This is so cool. Run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Run? Maybe we just run. Run? Susceptibility to being wound up, by the way. Multiple lovers despite having partners. Or a long-term partner. They got us, like, absolutely pegged. This is not what I thought this game... Same, Uzai. This is not what I thought this game would be about. Running is objectively going to do me no no nothing for me, but let's go ahead and go towards the tower. God, this music is so creepy. I love it. This is really well made. I'm obviously obsessed with this so far. And I'm so curious about what the truth is. So confirmation of a test. What's right here? Anything? Confirmation of a test. The susceptibility to manipulation part is the thing that really gets me. I'm high. Oh. Column of smoke, and oh. I broke their thing. Uh, Henry, I think there is smoke yeah. coming from north of. Jones no, there Lake. is. Yeah. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. Do not pin this shit on me. Do not pin this shit on me. Call it in. We just call it in like any other fire. We are good fire what watchers. Who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the that, hell out of here. Definitely that. Yeah, yeah, definitely I that. I quit. I quit, by the way. I quit? No, 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 no. There is no day 77. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Why did you do that, Ryan? Do not gaslight me here. Who is listening to us? Oh, my God. The red tape. Holy shit. Woo! Someone clip Ryan using this. I, no, no, no. I didn't start the fire. Missing person last seen at Lake. Are others missing there? Teens. Mitch Michaels. Who is good? Who is Goodwin, by the way? Front seat question. Have I heard the name Goodwin? Oh, never mind. Never mind. My front seat question. Brian Goodwin. Were the Goodwins also under? It was Brian and Ned or whatever. Surveillance. 
I like how they take everything and put it up here in one place so you can see it. Oh, that's so cool. Government-owned controlled area. This is like some LSD uh, men who stare at goats shit. The radio suck ass. I'd prefer to keep things this way. The powers that be is a is a very menacing uh, phrase now that we know that there are powers that be. Bad news back home. Dave's getting out of here. Meeting to talk. Your psycho. We didn't steal. I didn't steal your panties. I just picked them up once. Teen's actually a bear. Teen's in on it. Frame me for attack. Worried about fires. Knew they were a target. Destroying evidence. Framing us. Tracking device. Who else are they following? So it they. So he's calling it a tracking device. Site reports. Know too much? Delilah lying? Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish. I'll use the wave receiver. Just give me a second. Let me put on my hat first. Shelly! Oh, you're right here. Wait, Shelly, what the fuck? What are you, you all right? Shelly, what are you doing? Mars has to work at three and I'm so nervous. How, uh, how long, uh, would you say we have left in the game potentially? Shelly is a bug. Shelly is bugged. NFS or question mark, question mark, question mark. Working for them, question mark, question mark. Box still broken. Okay, anything else here, we'll read the note. For you, I have no idea. You're close. 1989. Sorry, July 16th. What's the fuck different? Nope, that's the one we already read. Okay. Let's pull it out. Close to the southwest. Okay. Can I take the tracking device with me? I don't think I can. I think we drop it. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Yeah. Yeah. What could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. I gotta find out. I'm so curious. You know what I just picked up. Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Great, love Are it. You drunk? Good, good plan. No, I am getting drunk. <laughs> maybe a bad idea. Hey D, I don't want to crush your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. Henry, Henry. What? It's too late. You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire or your job. I could not worry your life. and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. I stole all their stuff. Ooh, so I that's like proof. It when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. Turning my radio off. Interesting. That is a first. That is a big first, I would say. Turn a flashlight on. I'm so nervous. I'm going to walk around a corner here and shit is going to be very bad. So where is this coming from? This is medicine wheel. Oh, no. I am so sketched. We're going to go meet our fate very quickly. The 
backpack? I'm gonna get hit in the head. Hey, it's going crazy. What do you think? Okay, we found it. <laughs> oh, God. National Shoshone Forest Cash 452. There was a four somewhere, right? 452? Yeah, cave 452. The cave is the answer. It's the place we haven't... What? <gasps> ah. ah! Run! Run! The fucking alarm! Ah! Huh. I definitely thought that was a bomb. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're Meaning okay. I was meant it's to find it. Or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Who did he? Who did okay, she say had them? Think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila. She in her said belly. somebody had the keys Maybe back in the day and, and lost them. To beat it. The fire hasn't spooked, and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Or we're being yeah, trapped. Well, it's hard to feel made like to you go have in the, the cave. Hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh, well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Ah! Oh my god, go. I'm going. To the tower? No, run away. Leave the forest. What is the quickest way out of the forest? Thoroughfare trailhead. How do I get there? How do I go there? What is the quickest way back to Boulder? One way ticket to Australia, please? Fuck me. I am staring at a man in your tower. Did I ever go this way? Is this a dead end? No, it just loops around. Okay. Then this is the way to go back. I'm susceptible to manipulation, by the way. They led you out of your tower? Well, they did. And they're also going to make me go inside of this cave, 100%. 100%. Maybe we sleep it off? Yeah, let's just go back to the tower and sleep on it. Hey, what if I it's Forrest Burns? Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. Great, love it. Love it. Big fan, big fan, big fan, big fan. What if there's, uh, what if it's Forrest Burns sitting up there? I'm so fucking sketched out. Let's just go meet our fate. I just ask that you do it quickly, please. Just ax to my head. Is that quick? I don't know. I guess. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Anything missing? Keep your light on for stealth? Yeah. I have to seriously consider a thing which I have really not wanted to consider for so long, which is the thought that maybe reporting is a bad decision. I have to, I have to, I have not, I've considered it from the beginning, but I have really not wanted to think it through because the alternative is to play this game silently and to not get the dialogue options which gives me more information which is always tempting but a walkman could be a message that i am meant to hear i don't know why they wouldn't write it or why would it be a walkman with a message is it a tape of me and delilah talking I'm going to keep reporting because I think at this point I've sort of made my bed. Left a 
cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah, no, agreed. Well, yeah, yeah, agreed. Let's see what's on it. Yep, fucking knew it. I hope it has What's some good tape, tunes. <laughs> What's in the box, Henry? Henry, do you hear me? It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. And it makes yeah. it sound like and we burned it down. It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Yeah. Just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak she's out. She's drunk. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Yeah, she's freaking out. <laughs> ah! You literally reported everything you find? I think so. Bender isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? No, it isn't, but that's not it. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. It keeps getting worse. Um, it keeps getting worse. So I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't, I don't have know a lot of time left that, that makes the most sense. If we don't find sense. some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's going to be in handcuffs. Jelly? Jelly! My turtle's gone. Us? Question mark? Question mark? Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Oh, shit. Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. They want it back? They want the wave receiver back, do they? I like that they upgrade our compass to the wave receiver, which has compass abilities, you know? Maybe Delilah can go in the cave. That's a fantastic idea. Maybe we put Delilah in the cave. I didn't write down more later. The sun's not up yet. I'm exhausted. At daylight, I'm going to head down into the cave in the canyon and see what I can find. I don't know what else to say. Really. I know I should probably take extensive notes. Yesterday, I had the thought that maybe I'm not quite right in the head. It just came across me for a moment, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't think it for a second. I'm going down into the cave. I hope I find something. I don't care what happens, as long as I find something. I wonder what will happen if I don't make it back. I'm obviously a little worried about that, and I'm not trying to act tough. But what would actually happen? It's hard to imagine at this stage anybody would notice. Susan, my sister out in Maryland, would eventually get a call. I'd feel bad for not seeing her and the kids for so long. But Julia... It's almost been six months now. Maybe it wouldn't even register. Maybe I don't even register. I just felt a little panic there. What if I do register and I just left her alone? I've never reported the map. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not <laughs> USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Two orcs? That looks That's such like a funny thing to Ryan report Goodwin. at this stage. I wonder if his dad hated this type of stuff and he felt like he had to hide it. Oh, man. That would be sad. Oh, you have a soft spot for nerds? I really do. Okay. Well, we're not going to see what that stops on because it's going to take forever, but... Uh, okay, I think we're going down into the cave. Interesting. 
Well, this feels like it could be the last day of the game. And I don't know for a fact, and I don't want to know, of course. But uh, with the way that the fire and the air is looking, with the fact that our our, our protagonist is uh, losing his grip on reality, and the fact that we're going to, I believe, one of the late thoroughfare basin, maybe, but like, Take mental stockpile real quick. I think we have been to everything in the game now on this map. So to the cave, how do I get there from here? Cave is just very simply uh, this way down that trail. Go say goodbye to Forest Burns just in case this is the end. Why is there a baseball in my outhouse? This wasn't here last time, was it? Oh, wait. Yeah, it was. I thought it was the other outhouse. Bye, Forest Burns. I really want to get you to prop up vertically. You really don't want to do that. Goodbye. All right, let's go to the cave. We're getting into a weird, really panicky, uh, like, blame game, too, where Delilah's being pressured. Somebody called saying that Henry... They were me, and that the person knows, and that Delilah knows what happened with the fire. Um. Hey, you. I was about to say, make that call, trust is right? breaking down. To, to the other lookout, it just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. I'd be paranoid in your and mind I too. Asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I'd be paranoid if I were you, too, because I don't trust you. Of course not. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying also, to who am I, what am I going to make a call with? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. <laughs> Can I ask you if you made the call? Hey, uh, my name is Henry, and... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> so Delilah has a uh, <clears throat> This is all a complicated gender reveal. Oy vey. All right, here goes nothing. I'm loving at the same time as I'm very stressed. I'm loving the way this mystery is developing. I'm very, I'm being kept on my toes. That's for sure. What the hell? Big drop. Use the Pulaski. Yes. yes. Uh oh. Shafts of light, cracking rock. Jesus, this is a big cave. We just drop? We can't drop. Okay. I'm about to get hit in the head again? Or is it going to be information we find in here? Probably information. I can't believe I thought you'd be in this cave yesterday by four. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought it. I don't blame you, Mars. I blame myself. In here. The echo is cool, too. I'm glad we played it this way. Is anybody uh, down shoot? there? Shoot. 
Ryan, you didn't hear that. I don't know what I didn't hear, but that's okay. I also can't tell if I'm being... My guess is if the shoe, if there's a shoe, that is Brian. That is Brian's shoe. I think we're finding a dead body. I think that's the answer, which is a type of information. I think it's Brian's dead body, potentially Ned's. It's not really like this game. Is it, is it really like this game to put a dead body in front of you, though? I don't know. Where does this go? The cave leads somewhere? It does. A couple pawns. God, I look like I'm on Mars. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me. Oh. In you saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind oh. me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, <laughs> Jesus. So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor. But I saw that, yep. Gone now. That was my thought. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. I don't know that I make it well, back to Two Forks. Dangerous. Maybe I will, but I don't know that I I don't know that I make it back. How do I even hike back? Like I'm I'm out in the middle of nowhere. There has to be a reason for me to be put here. I'm gonna follow the tower, most likely. Yeah, we're gonna find something before we get there. Oh, this is Brian, the Goodwins. This is a, uh, <gasps> I was wondering why you didn't address the door slam noise. I thought this is going to sound crazy. I thought for sure that, uh, that was just the door shutting behind me, like from the wind. This is, I believe, on the Orc Fortress map. This is, or the Two Orcs map. This is the Witch's Place. Is that correct, chat? Yes or no? Front seat question. The Witch's Place. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Yeah, it's Brian. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Oh, wow. Dragon CS, which I'm not sure about. Five degrees north. By skin flute minnow. Gambling racket. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Grief is Everyone their this sorrow. Everyone guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Huh. Well, that's fucking dark. Yeah. Grief. What would Brian's grief be? Can I drop it? There we go. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. See you know, again. Made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get, <laughs> I get sick to my stomach. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It's not CS. It's a GS. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I. Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. You lied, Delilah? I lied. 
You? Live? Said it was Ned. I'm so shocked. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Is it possible Delilah lied, saying there was no kid up there? And so, an experiment went down on Ned. Except it turns out there was a kid who got caught in the, uh... Got caught in the, uh... The crossfire? Is that Reptar? Oh! Also, it has a lookout tower, a plane, a sword, and a house. Paint can. Wizards and wyverns. What the hell? What to read first? Let's read this. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf <laughs> armor Chaotic good. seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. 28 hit points. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Ham radio diagram. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Okay. So, Delilah was just very short about that. And we do know somebody is out here with a radio. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. And also maybe he wasn't planning on taking Brian back to school that year? Pythons, incredible. Pythons, I think is how you say that. Yep, we have what we need. Huh, Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was <laughs> returned them to me them in the mail. Cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing <laughs> him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, that's put it past old Ned. Dad's forcing him to, uh, his dad is forcing him to climb so he loses his pitons. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Interesting. Oh, sure it was the camera. Elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. I want to know what the first few pictures are on this thing. Maybe we can get them developed later. I keep forgetting about this freaking camera. Maybe we get them developed at the um, end of the game? Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart. Huh? Avoid second person, by the way. Sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously it is real. threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. <laughs> yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. Brian copied from Wikipedia. There's part of this where he caught, where he, uh, he plagiarized it. <laughs> This is a work of art, this essay, and I'm not going to focus on it too much, uh, but the very uh, hilarious writing in the first part and then 
MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trail of meteors within our atmosphere. I'm so happy about that. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Oh my god, yeah. Bracky Lords, Gladius Silva. Brian Goodwin. Tree Eye. Anything here that looks that looks like a ball sack chin? You're dead, misspelled. Okay. I think we could probably go back, right? But I don't remember if I can go back the way I just came from. Is that what I'm supposed to do, chat? Front seat question? Go back the way I came from? Into the cave? Or did I just miss a way around right there? No? Hmm. Okay, got all that stuff. Good, good, good. There's a ledge here. Oh, I can use one here. Duh. The crack. God, we're doing some old school climbing shit here. Chad, are you guys ready to discover the ending of this game? But I think we might be close. I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Okay, all right. With this shit that's right enough. Now? I would say that's enough. Uh, hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Interesting. So there they have just clarified in a single sentence, two sentences, our oh, quote unquote, uh, also. our quote unquote reasoning for doing this, which is, of course, to clear our name, which is a more complicated motivation than just simply to find out what's happening here. Those girls turned up. Oh my Looks god. Like didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Damn it. Those girls really did a number on you, huh? No, I'm glad they're not dead, but it also means that they weren't a part of what's going on. Yeah. I suppose you're right. That's so funny. You the girls are the red you. herring. Yeah. But what happened to the girls? I wonder if they know anything. I don't know. Maybe we got to go visit them in jail and find out. Interesting. Okay, we're back into the cave. All right, let's find out. No bear, by the way. I really thought I was going to see a bear. Sure, door is shut. How did they lock it from this end? Can I close the door behind me? All right, whatever. It's funny that you leave and come back to the cave. I thought for sure the first time I entered this, this was the only time I needed to enter it, but... Bear drove the piton and is waiting for you down there. Maybe it just locks when it shuts. That's a good answer. <clears throat> so what happened to Brian? What happened to Mitch Michaels? What information do they have that they don't want me finding out about? What are they doing out here studying us? I've got a million questions. Oh, that's a big drop. All right, well, here goes nothing. 
Looks like I can climb back up, which is good to know. What happened to the girls? They had their bloomers stolen? Sure, but like, who did that to them? Oh, the music. Uh... I fucking knew it. Ah, oh, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You fell. You're Brian Goodwin. Your stuff gave out. Man. Step over. Aw. The shoe is so sad. Ah, that's so sketchy. Ah. We're not allowed to run right here. Interesting. Now we can. I'd be running. In real life, I would be running. I would be running out of this cave. I don't think we quite make it out. We have an answer. Brian died climbing. But why was he climbing there? What was going on? Another steep fucking shaft. Uh, this cave is in insane. This is not what Henry signed up for, it's true. I didn't think they'd show a body just a foot or an arm. Yeah. I agreed. And I guess the they, they followed that instinct by not showing his head. But why was he climbing at all? He hit his stuff so he wouldn't have to, yeah. Good question. Like what was he and what was he doing down here? Yeah. Alright, we're out. Unless. Or not. Let's go here. I'm so nervous. This is where I'm pretty sure we saw the person with the light right up there. Which of course is on my mind. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Whole search and rescue? Hey, you um might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. He doesn't... Delilah. Yeah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing? I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And very intriguing. Very intriguing. Hadn't even thought about that. I don't think it was an accident. I don't know. Maybe it was Ned. If not him directly, he put enough stupid fucking know-how in his head to didn't want to climb. To get him killed. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. We at least can't be sure it was an accident. Be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. Lila hates herself right now. I... There's, there's, there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Is that true? Leaving tomorrow. 
We're taking the we're taking the the typewriter. Look at all of the stuff I've collected. You see that plane? Uh, I, I no, heard it. I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is two percent contained. Well, is this the flat we're leaving fire because of the fire? The Got it. Fire of course. Or the well, two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The, the surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like Kelly? the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's got to be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe there doesn't. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could <laughs> find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. That was dark. I was gonna say... Yeah. <laughs> could this one be a trap? I thought the last one was a trap. have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um... Okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Oh, forget it. Be safe, Henry. This is the fourth version of the retrieval plan, by the way. Be safe, Henry. I... Chameleon says I feel bad for being sus of Delilah. I don't know that you are yet, uh... I don't know that you're yet free of Delilah. We're going to take the tracking thing with us? That seems like a dumb decision. But I already did it, so... Oh, well. Can I take the jam with me? The pasta sauce? And take the book with me? No. All right. Applies for two forks. We take the tracking device with us, by the way. So now whoever we're going after just knows that we're going. I guess that's everything. I can't open this desk drawer, which is funny. The other one. Do I have my wedding ring on? I can't tell if I have my wedding ring on, actually. All right. Well, goodbye. God, this is so pretty and so insane. The fire is right there. Holy shit. Oh, man. It's not pretty, it's scary, yeah. I mean, mostly scary, also a little pretty. Another plane. Okay, this is mostly west. And it seems pretty far from now. Is New York City right now? Yeah. The lake? God, this is wild. Wouldn't there be something for the propane cylinder? Yeah, it seems like there would be. The propane cylinders? Stuck on a tree! Ooh, are we going too far south? Yes, we are. Shit. Hmm. 
What a game. Can't wait to see how we land this plane, right? I have such a, like, my favorite part of anything, book, art, movie, art, art in general, movie, game, is like, how do you land the plane? What's your status? How do you end a story? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. So I do have to hike to you. You sound worried. No, it's, it's just. Brian. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north, mm -hmm. far, past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Okay. Yep, I've seen that before. There's a lot to wrap up. There's a lot to wrap up, and there's also the like the main question I'm interested in is like how do you what emotional note do you end it on, right? This has been such a par a paranoid and wacky summer. Um that we have logistical questions to answer from a like who done it kind of perspective or what's going on perspective. But How do you land it in an emotional way? Okay, so uphill from here? Could I have not gone down? Can I go around? Is it the raccoon we saw at the start of the game? Hi, Evo. You being gatekept from chatting? We went the wrong way. And how we fucked that up. Why do you have a Geiger counter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our uh, signal receiver kind of thing. There's a rope here. Henry. Collar. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's tracking for you? info? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, I'm dead. No, I'm dead as shit. Can I play it? Do I have the walkman on me? Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this Ned. before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Guilt? What is it? I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You've been living here since Brian died. Can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's yep, sake. The light, yep. That was you. I've been up here for three years. Yep. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up and Delilah. It's your entertainment. She's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. Brian liked her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows <laughs> nothing. Neither of us have kids. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. <laughs> I'm sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? But what they also it? had notes on us it in the was other Ned place. Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. But the other place also had notes on us. That's not entirely true, right? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. They had reports. The, because he killed the two Brian. subjects. Because he killed his fucking son. I mean, I think negligence killed his son, but yeah. Y you need to get 
get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. I will. But first, I'm going to explore this. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. Lots of baked beans, cans. It kind of looks like maybe stuff he stole from the, the place. Improvised hatch. Bro should get grief counseling. Teen magazines. So he's the one who did that. Aww. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. He. God. What? Nothing. Just some of Brian's stuff. Nothing. Doesn't decide to say anything. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. The handbook. Delilah holds such a grudge here. And I get it. I mean, I don't think Ned is above... Is above anything there. Oh, he borrowed the equipment. He falsified the research. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Motherfucker. I... Fuck, I clicked the wrong button. Shit. Ah! There it is. He falsified him. Never m m m, -m fuck <laughs> That is a, rel he a relief. Everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. August 11th? August 1st? Return borrowed equipment. Erase H and D evidence. H and D evidence. Leave no trace, by the way. Frontsy question there. What does H and D stand for? Henry and Delilah. Uh, sorry. Drop. Report. I can't. Okay. Big. Fuck. Guilty. Coffee percolator. It's weird. You know what's a really cool emotional thing at this exact moment? How similar we look our lives. This could be the be bag from the teens. This could be my place. Supervisor. God damn it. Would not be missed if removed. This one is too dark. Passive guilty, forthright. Oh my god, very forthright. I'll report everything I hear. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that's yeah. at 22,000 acres and yep. growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, I have to be the one to f oh, so of course. To of course. You should take a picture. I don't know. But I also got to know the answer. The fire is going to burn all of this up. But I got to know. This boombox looks familiar. The one question left in my mind. Who was Delilah talking to on that call? That's a rhetorical question. Please don't answer it. Who was Delilah talking to? The time she said, we're out of comms. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I still think sus of Delilah is not completely out of the question. Need supplies. Winter needs for 89. Uh, cords of firewood, jackets, blankets, matches, books. <laughs> gotta get, gotta stay sane. New boots. Try elk skin. Summer weight gain goal. Try and gain 35 pounds this summer so you can survive the winter. You have to hand it to him that he managed this. Uh, it's insane. This is quite the feat. You know? Okay, I think I have everything found there. Let's continue. 
More batteries this way. Is this where you sat and listened to us, you sick fuck? Pick up the beer can and clean it up. Wind chime made of fo oh, forks and bones and... He had quite the view. He could see your lookout. Bye, Mars. I'm sorry. I have a meeting in 5-2. I'm so sorry. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. I have not played the long dark, Sydney. Can I get out of here? I cannot. <gasps> Logs. Okay. First ranger fly fishing at Jay Lake. Reminder, rainbows hitting cadflies. That's hilarious. The rainbow trout are hitting cadflies. He took notes to himself about how to fish better. Saw Mama Grizzly on morning hike. Rainy week. Water stocks are good. Smoking trout while hikers are gone. Brian's birthday. Saw first ranger of the year. Haven't left base in a couple weeks. Three weeks. Going stir crazy. Big hike tomorrow to the cave. New lookout in Two Forks. That's Henry. Saw him coming out of a cave. Lila's calling for hikers list. Delay her. She'll forget. So did you cut the cord? <gasps> you stole the panties! Cut the cord. Planted them as if it was a crime. Severed the radio communications. D never called for hikers list because you couldn't. Re-rigged Delano to pick up dual frequency. That's the name of the thing. And here, D and 2F concurrently. 2F hiked by cave. Seems less interested. Julia. 2F is a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizzly in a couple months. Delilah's drunk again. You stole the panties. He stole the panties. This is huge news. Huge news. Get a room. Reminder, scout migration due to fire. Fucked up. Do not want to leave. Hide supplies for migration. Uh, Henry and Delilah suspect conspiracy. Funny, if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas. Start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize Delilah's tower. Pin on Henry. Interesting. Try to make remote recording device. University research site. Move. Pit against each other. We were supposed to be pitted against each other. And I didn't. We kind of avoided uh, pitting against Delilah, actually, which is very interesting. Stakes too high. No one will believe Brian was happy. The guilt and the fear together are making Ned do crazy things. Makes Lila and Henry less believable. Uh, Henry's crazy? Like wife? Not a good guy. <laughs> good guy. Not a good guy. They heard me fully believe there is a program. We should use this. Reports are final. Make sure they find them. 2F almost caught me at sight. Yep. Reports worked. Recorded the call. Used for leverage. Henry found supplies. How? Question mark. Don't remember what that was. He's gone. Can't let 2F find B. What does that mean, chat? Front seat question. 2F found supplies. What is that? I stole the tracker. The backpack with the alarm. That wasn't him? Why is he questioning whether I found that? Right? Like, shouldn't that be obvious? You, I thought he did that. He did not do that? Close line. I think that's everything here. God, we're in the, we need to get the fuck out of here. Maybe he means we weren't supposed to take the tracker device, which we then used to find stuff. But I imagined that that was the plan. This does nothing. 
Danny's lurking. Sounds good, Danny. Enjoy the meeting. Yeah, so there is two questions left on my mind. He didn't want me to find Brian. And there was a key to the cave on that backpack with an alarm. So that's weird. That doesn't make sense from his motivation. Second would be, who was Delilah talking to? Who is Mitch Michaels is the third question, actually. What am I supposed to do again? Hike north, thoroughfare, lookout. We have multiple routes here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, go this way, I guess. So, okay, so there's still mystery here. God, this is so good. I love the puzzle pieces that have fallen together so far. I also love that they have made... I, I think they've struck a good balance with Ned. I, he does not feel utterly... Nope. Uh, like, how would I phrase this? He doesn't feel like I don't write off his actions, but I do understand them, you know? I don't understand them as in I would make them. I understand them as in I can see how this, like, obvi obviously this person who was not like, ne like Ned wasn't killing it, killing it in life, right? He was not like utterly capable. He wasn't a good dad. We can say that, I think. Um, I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. Do it, Delilah. Go off. But I'm not. Yep. Provide the emotional so under did. current for us. Shitty father who hit yep. out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. That's what I was about to say. This is exactly where my mind was at. I think Ned loved him. I think, I think that Ned loved I him. I don't think that uh, he still had his photo, you know. I don't want to hear it. He, sure. He obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you you figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. Oops, wrong button. I'm sorry. No, that seems right. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. Amir. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Amir, moment. The earlier one where we overheard Delilah. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Ah, uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll oh come shit! Back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about uh, something? I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. I don't know that there is. I don't know that that's Just entirely true. Wait. Will I'm she wait? Go. He's gonna go. Okay. If you have to. I have to. Hike safe. Hike safe. Goodbye, Delilah. Okay, so we're getting a lot of emotion, uh, a lot of interesting developments right now. I had the option there to say wait. Um, well, this tower somewhere through there. I didn't. Uh, I had. Hi, Warrior Cats. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Uh, 
So it's one of those things where I see both the perspective of Ned. I, 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 I agree with neither 100%. I see that Ned is that Delilah is like Ned's a shithead, and I get it, and a bad dad, and I agree. And I also see that Delilah has that Delilah should not blame herself, but I also think Delilah is prob Delilah is probably going to, and probably a little bit Del Delilah deserves that. A little bit, probably. I am a little bit bummed that Delilah and I can't absolutely hook up on September 1st at the end of the summer, but you know, that's all right. More important things going on, etc. It's very interesting. Alpaca brings this up, which is super interesting. It's interesting to see. Uh... Oh, you know what? Are we going to see a bear? Because there was the moment about there were multiple m mentions of Mama Grizzly. Is that still just being held over my head? Or is that actually going to happen? Uh, okay. We're almost up to the major set of intersections. Uh, Henry is not a objective observer. Henry is coming to this with a very specific emotional past. End of the story is Henry eaten by a bear. I know, right? It would feel kind of weird to do combat here, probably, but... Or like a, a weird... You are in, a, in danger, actually. Moment, but... I don't know. This game has handled everything well so far. Like, I can't... I've been surprised by the game. I've been... They've... Exceeded my expectations. Uh, um, they've surprised me in multiple places. I am always lost through this part. It's hard. Ryan has way too many wives to be hooking up willy nilly with D. To be clear, Henry has uh, one wife too many. Ryan also has one wife too many, but um, Henry would be the one doing it, so. Ryan has a wife, but uh, Henry also has a wife in a different I think I go this way, right? Always confusing. Don't hit me with the three question marks in chat. Three question marks. It is really weird to be silent and not have D here to talk. We've started calling her D now that, uh... God, it's so cool to be, like, rushing out of here with, uh... <gasps> No? Okay. Never mind. Rushing out of here as a uh, fire consumes the place. How the fuck do I get down here? Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little lost. This was straight up to the thing. Down from here, there was like a beer can here. No? It was like, when you go down, beer can to the side... Oh my god, Mars, that's so good. This was... Yeah, there's actually a secret timer happening in the game right now, and if I don't make it out by the end of the timer, then we die. And I'm gonna die. I'm here to tell you that. That's the same fucking thing. Hey, we can clear this trail with our hatchet now. With our Pulaski. So the end times. This is the end times. So happy for you, Mars. Imagine the bummer it would have been if Mars, the person who's been trying to get me to play this game for three years, uh, had to leave in the last 20 minutes of the game. No save file, so you have to start from the beginning. Or this way? We've technically been to the tram already.
So I guess the que the, the interesting thing here is like, I think what they decided there was, Delilah will go and so I won't get to meet Delilah. Was Delilah actually talking to someone? What if I get over here and they're like, there was no Delilah, you know? Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, you there? Delilah, are you there? Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Were you a figment of my imagination? No. Oh, that's a little sketchy. I'm intrigued. How do we land this plane? Is it credits? We have questions still, right? Firewatch. Delilah's tower is the last thing we do. Map's gone. Helicopter. Oh man, what a game. I can't wait to see what's up here. But what a game so far. I've loved every second of this. Yo, Delilah, you shit in this outhouse? What is it? Is it a note? We got fl oh, she got flowers in her outhouse. Have a good time in the toilet. Okay. All right. Whatever. No, you know, whatever, whatever. Red flag for fire danger, cistern. Some boards here with painting, maybe. I'm nervous to see what this is like. Binoculars facing west. Thought maybe you'd be looking south towards me. All right, let's see what this house is like. Music. Teddy Roosevelt. Good old Teddy. Maps. They're a fair lookout. Her own little world. So similar to mine and so different. The slippers. Water skin. The wood. Similar items, of course. Soap. Probably more well organized i'd say pork pond it got stolen huh people just kept stealing it huh interesting interesting her shirt lucian's gambit book 16 chronicles of Crendel by timothy howell Separated from his allies by the evil Venom Fang. Toss that shit on the floor. It's all going up in flames. Any drawers here, by the way? No drawers. A thousand and one crosswords. A thousand and one more crosswords. <laughs> Dig it. Photos from here, panorama. <laughs> we'll go to that in a second. I gotta see what that says. White and shorts, it said. The antlers, I discovered some antlers myself. Fine candy bars. Oh, it's so cool getting to see this stuff. Fire danger rating, determining fuel models, fire behavior estimation. What a nerd. What an absolute nerd. Pick up the mug, drop it so I can read this piece of paper. Nothing on the piece of paper. Biff. Apple. Up the apple. Disrespect your surroundings. Tequila? We're going to drop the tequila because we're not drinking got a note here redneck grebe magnificent frigate bird osprey and a wood stork wood stork doing some uh 
bird uh, watching? A terrible drawing of a reindeer and a terrible drawing of a bear. Okay. Fireline Handbook, August 1988. Radio headset. We'll put those on in just a second. Drawing by Delilah. Henry. Hi, I'm Shelly. Hairy freaking legs. What we know. White shorts and depresso espresso. Yo, she drew my, uh, <clears throat> um. My knees. That's what I was gonna. Fucking pork pond, huh? Can't wait to hear what we're gonna hear inside of this, uh. Side of this thing. I think that's everything here. Didn't do your dishes. What do we got? Hello? Is anybody there? Are we dead? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Probably the oh, one fuck. who attacked my face. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's Are you lying a debrief to me? in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, oh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one <laughs> fire. Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. <laughs> uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... Sirens? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you? <laughs> All right, sure. Um, Hi, Drone. Maybe. Hi, Public, by the way. I hope you're feeling better soon. A little in the hearts in the chat for Public, who's feeling sick. Come to Boulder with me. Become crossword editor. Well, you could always go take over the crossword at the New York Times. Oh, yeah, I could probably fall right into that. New York, big city. Couldn't be further from here. Paris, Paris, I've Paris. Been. Well, when I end up out there. Yeah. So, um, what about me? Move to New York with you? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. What's oh, yeah. it like in New York City? Yeah. You gotta go see her. I love this moment, Delilah says. Would you? You have to go see Henry, her. I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Aww. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year, we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and, and it's just, uh... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it being a dumped. pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. Calls me Hank. God, it's surreal to actually see a helicopter. Disrespect your surroundings. Da -da, da -da -da. <clears throat> um, maybe I take the tequila. Take it. All right. 
get the fuck out of here. I still have questions. I wonder if there are answers, or if I have missed the, or I wonder if I've missed the answers, if I will get the answers, or if there are no answers. Can't wait to find out. It's been one hell of a summer. Based, right? Oh, this game's incredible. Yeah, uh, I'll give some overall thoughts here in a second, but um, that was awesome. Thank you guys so much for. Well, I, we've never really. That's not true. We've done it before, but it's been a while since we've done a playthrough quite like this, uh, where we just hardcore focus on the game, no real chatting, just what can the game give us here on Twitch. And I'm glad I did because it was really good to see you guys' reactions as well and to look at those photos. Shit. Is this backwards order? It is backwards order. So, what are the what are the photos on this thing before I took photos? That's the first one I took. I'm pretty sure. No, I took one of the backpack. I think. Yeah, that one. Now, what photos are there? That's me, right? I took the photo of myself when I picked it up. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have? When the reflection in the glass that I hear Reptar with the tower, that's Brian for sure. Photo of his dad, photo of Ned. Selfie of Brian. Aww. Aww. Then I see you walk away. See you walk away from me. Yeah. This is Etta James. I'd rather go blind. R.I.P. for uh, DMCA copyrighted music. <laughs> um, we took the first one. They got that timer button, right? It was the raccoon. Who's the raccoon? God, are there multiple endings to this game? I saw something saying uh, there's different dialogue at the end based on what you've done. Are there multiple endings? This is where we get to... Let's break it down. I'll give some thoughts on uh, on what's going on here, but uh, I have lots of questions. Um, but I'll talk about it for a little bit, and uh, and then that'll be it for Firewatch. There's two endings technically. Dialogue is different all over the place. What are the two endings? What is the what is the other ending? You keep saying we overheard when Delilah was talking to someone else when she couldn't be in contact with anyone else, but she had countless other people on radios, LOL. You took that moment and went with the paranoia. Damn. I did take that moment and run with the paranoia. It was a little confusing to be like the wire is cut which connects Delilah to her supervisor, I believe. But of course, we were still talking, but of course she supervises other people, but... You could just stay in her tower and die? You can just wait? Oh, fuck. Ryan, don't scam me. I redeemed one more go. Hit that new game button. All right, guys, let's do it again. Let's do the tower ending where you die in the game. Or you die in the tower. <laughs> Nah, I gotta give you your points back though. What a game! I uh, I saw somebody write a comment uh, saying uh, 
I don't know that it was a game. It was more just like an interactive story. But I think one of the beautiful things about, I don't want to get too deep into it, but you know, like uh, one of the beautiful things about video games is that uh, the definition of game can be so broad, right? Uh, there is an interactive story is what it was called. Uh, my mind goes towards some of the like more out there experiences that are still things I would call games, like the beginner's guide. Uh, one of the first games I ever played and, and that like blew my mind on what a game could be. This game reminds me of what remains of Edith Finch for sure. Um, or what remains of Edith Finch reminds me of this, I guess. Um, yeah. What a game. I love the storytelling. I think the dialogue is 10 out of 10. I think obviously it's beautiful. I think the story itself is very interesting. I think the the fact that they got me into a place so uh, so paranoid that I was running through conspiracy theory. Like, like they managed the paranoia and the feeling uh, of doubt and the mystery of it so well. So well. Um, Delilah's voice acting is incredible. Uh, Delilah is going to be stuck in my mind as a character for so long. I think this game was uh, was also just like, maybe not for everybody, but perfect for me. So shout out to Mars for a long time ago suggesting it. Perfect for me. Uh, we also got to watch a couple fires, you know? I think this game is uh, is incredible. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Tony says, I'm the next mod on the game recommend uh, recommendation list, right? Which game is longer, uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts, Sayonara Wild Hearts, or Crusader Kings 3? Which one did we play for a longer amount of time? Because it's either you or public. Oh, shit, we haven't played anything for Carly yet, so I think it's Carly. I like how the last thing that Delilah said about Ned was a perfect description of Henry's situation. The, uh, that's the part about, like, you have to find a way to make it work, right? That's that part? Um, Ryan, I think you only really missed out on some answers on Ron and Dave. Yeah, I have questions. The questions I have left over are Mitch Michaels? Uh, and what's the info on Ron and Dave? Mitch Michaels, uh, what's the deal there? Is that just a red herring? Um, did I have another question? Stuff you didn't find on Ron and Dave. Mitch Michaels is a red herring. Okay. Just a last hiker. Just the same as the girls are just in jail for taking a joyride on somebody's, uh, somebody's tractor. Interesting. I really, really love games like this. They get me thinking so... They just get me thinking. You can find Ron and Dave's spot for an achievement. The spot where they drink all the time. Interesting. The Switch version of this game has a hidden spot with added content. The setup with the missing girls was great, added to the paranoia and conspiracy vibes. Yeah, and they also, like, they are not shying away from guilt. I really loved the intro of this game because I think this game is impossible. I, I would say the way that this game plays itself out would be so much less effective and potentially impossible without the, uh, without the intro... Like, you could get the backstory another way, right? You could get it through exposition, potentially. You could get it through a journal that uh, Henry carries around with himself. Uh, but you arrive, but instead, you arrive at the fire tower having just been hit by a fucking truck uh, emotionally as a player. Um, rather than arriving at the fire tower and being like, I can't wait to play this game. And then like, what? what's, it? oh shit, oh no, we're a bad guy, oh no. No, you get a, uh, get wrecked. You get wrecked. Get wrecked emotionally. 
Uh, definitely hit me with recommendations for games like this. Long Dark has been a uh, has been recommended a couple times. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, what else? I saw uh, I saw Gone Home. The intro is like a session zero in D and D. You actively build your backstory. Arena, that is the perfect metaphor. Perfect metaphor. Before your eyes, I watched Dream play it and I cried all. Before your eyes, wait, which one is that? Limbo's kind of the same. Um. <clears throat> All right, we've got a uh, a quick little Wikipedia uh, mention of Dave. Uh, the notes explain that Dave has mostly been avoiding Ron as of late due to Ron's burgeoning relationship with his new girlfriend, Debbie. Dave talks about trouble at home between him and his mother, why he took the job, his sister's been bugging him to come back. Dave gets into a bar fight in Wapiti. That's the Wapiti reference. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought Wapiti referenced the place where the fence was. During the final part of the game, that's brilliant. During the final part of the game, Henry discovers an encampment very likely created by Dave. Where's this at, by the way? Where's this at? Upon taking talking with Delilah, he learns the bar fight was in fact a homophobic attack, revealing Dave was gay and had unrequited feelings for Ron. The encampment includes a cassette tape with a song Ron made for Dave, Ol' Shoshone, which Henry may listen to. Dave's ultimate fate is left unclear. Wow. Wow. Bye, Mr. Meads. Gamers, that's going to do it for uh, for Firewatch. We could sit around and chat for a little bit longer, but um, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun for me.